dessert. I've got an apple tart. I'm not quite sure what this is. Pistachio and a nut crunchy thing on top. Oh, it looks amazing. And this is a video report of our cruise on the fabulous Oceania Riviera. We will be sailing the Mediterranean from Barcelona to Trieste. It was originally planned to end in Venice, but then large cruise ships were banned from Venice, so they moved it to Trieste. We didn't mind so much as we've been to Venice before and never seen Trieste, but I understand quite a few passengers cancelled when that change was made. So cruise day was a Saturday and we caught a cab from our Airbnb where we had been staying for five days. Uh, we planned to arrive around 2pm, hoping to avoid the crowds at check-in. and That worked okay, uh, except a bus from the airport arrived when we did, so it, it took about 20 minutes for them to check our COVID tests and back certificates. But before too long we were on board. was to be our third cruise with Oceania. Previously we'd been on the Marina, the sister ship, from Valparaiso to Miami, so around South America, in January 2017. And then the Marina again for a Baltic cruise from Copenhagen to Oslo in 2019. So we're pretty familiar with these ships. And out there we have the fort which you can see at the top of the hill. Right, James. That's right. Is that right? Well done, thank you for your expertise. You're not on Princess anymore, Stuart. No, it definitely is a step up, I have to say. A snack of mahi mahi and a side salad with a beautiful balsamic dressing. We checked immediately at our muster station and then went to Waves Grill for a late lunch. The cabins were ready around 2.30, so we weren't carrying our hand luggage for too long. On arrival, our bed arrangement was not set up as requested, but we told our room steward and he had that sorted out by dinner. We stayed in a B3 balcony cabin, and we always try and get an extended balcony cabin, because apart from the extended balcony, they come with two lounges as well as chairs. Here we are, finally, on the Oceania Riveri Riviera, sail away out of Barcelona. For the rest of the afternoon we unpacked and had an explore of the ship and then we headed to the Terrace Cafe around 8 o'clock for dinner. And surprisingly it was easy to get a good table out on the rear deck for sail away and I think that reflected the fact that we were sailing with around 850 passengers rather than the full complement of 1200 so around 70% capacity for this sailing. basic drinks package on this cruise which gives you wine and beer at meals and the wine flowed pretty freely at the Terrace Cafe. We never had trouble getting a drink from the friendly wait staff. You should have taken some shots before you cleaned out that lobster tail. Didn't last long did it? How are the lamb chops?
think, wow, we can have just as many lobster tails as we want. You can have but, as many lobster tails as you want. But you know, like, clearly we're only going to have one. But still, probably. Maybe one tonight. Nice. One each, at least. <laughs> James, what do you think of people who go <clears throat> slightly unbuttoned? Patrons. I think it's, I think it's uh, quite acceptable for gentlemen of a certain age to leave a button undone. And a certain disgraceful disposition. Yes. <laughs> Why not? Okay, I'm going to go and cruise the horizon now. Okay, so a little bit of dessert. I've got an apple tart. I'm not quite sure what this is. Pistachio and like a nut crunchy thing on top. Oh, it looks amazing. And then we've got a, it's a chocolate pudding. I assume it's a chocolate Some pudding sort of with chocolate like a chocolate pudding. sauce. And this used um, to be... And that was... Apple crumble. Apple crumble. Was it good? Gee, it was nice. Oh, yeah. If you'd like to follow our journey across the Mediterranean, please like this video and subscribe to this channel.